Sure. The Southeast United States is now a hotbed of soccer. Charlotte, Nashville, Miami. Once upon a time, it was just these two teams. Wiley and Lennon providing width while pushing further up the field. I think with Sleesh on the field of the season, fifth in 16 days, and without their two central midfielders, Wielder Cartagena and Cesar Arroyo. And underway at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Atlanta United and Orlando City. Orlando in their purple, Atlanta in their resurgence kit, their new secondary kit for the first time. Your number 10, Ladero in the good spots to help that. They've got to take this thing out of the game and have spells of possession like they are right now. Here is Moyo from distance. Kazan looked like he got a touch, he did. Sends it over, the first save of the match from Atlanta's keeper. Again, Muriel is dropping deep. Ojeda runs into Muriel. Santos has a chance to cross. Curling that neck of trouble. Gazan and hit the crossbar. Now Atlanta. Yakomakis into space for Lobjanice. Garese off his line. Lobjanice. Lobjanice. Vintage Atlanta United from one end to the other. Just like that. Atlanta opens the scoring. Well, in the defensive third, there was a throw in from Atlanta United. Jaco is doing a real good job holding off his defender. But Lova Janice just turning Santos inside and out. And Orlando City's Achilles heel this year, giving up a ton of goals. 13 goals in all competitions. Coming immediately off a good spell possession. Angulo. This is better from Orlando. Muriel. Ojeda. Kazan going down at the near post, making a good save. Orlando will have a corner. Torhalsen pushed down by Wiley. It's going to go into the book, it appears. Torhalsen. Tackled away by Williams. Now there's room. There's so much room behind. Almada was in his own half. Gillespie thought about coming. He backtracks. Here is Tiago Almada. Almada, oh, unselfish. Tried to leave it for Yako Makis. Gillespie has been vulnerable this year in these situations. That's why I think you're seeing Atlanta United trying to flood the six-yard box here with the ball in. Gillespie came. Oh, he got to get a touch. He did, it's another corner. He misjudged that initially. Ladero into Muriel. Angulo, Muriel. Getting around Sleesh, curling it. Pushed away by Kazan, still there for Holson. Blocked by Wiley, another corner coming. What a real skipper Orlando City have. Floated in on the corner, knocked down. Oh. Got save, and the second one, double save from to keep Orlando down one. Last five minutes of a half, Galese made a save, a foul was called, but all of a sudden it's given him confidence. That is a huge reaction save, but the second one even better. Immediately getting down to make that one, but now you've got to react quickly, use the other hand. It will be Muriel, and it is over the bar. Now we're starting to see the way 2023 ended going into the playoffs, why so many people, including myself, really liked them coming into this year. Only down 1-0 with a makeshift roster, goalkeeper standing on his head. To clean that up by incident up from the end of the first half, Fabian Bazan, the uh, Orlando assistant, shown a yellow card. Second half is underway now, Atlanta United leading Orlando City 1-0. I think they're going to be a little bit more dangerous in the final third. Meanwhile, Atlanta off and running. Yakomakis. Still Yakomakis. Right into the belly of Pedro Galese. Still Ojeda yeah, This is for better Orlando. for Orlando City, though. Much better here. Santos. Torhalsen keeps it in play. Gazan has to cover it at the near post. Wiley back to Almada. Jean de Silva. 
Still Jean de Silva looking for the far post. Pushed away by Galese. Lepjanice is there. Patient. Almada into the gulch. Saba Lobjanitze to Brooks Lennon, who's behind Santos. Lennon cutting it back. Oh, Santos went down. Yakomakis! All he needs is one chance. An elite goal scorer back atop the Golden Boot table. Atlanta doubles its lead. 2-0. Yakomakis again. Where you don't even need to say their name, where you're going to be, how you're going to get there. Brooks Lennon with a great run forward. But there is just an understanding between Brooks Lennon and Yako Makis. The layoff from Lennon is at the right pace for his center forward to put his laces right through it. You've got to want the pressure. You've got to want the ball. Their number seven in Atlanta wants all of it. Ladero left it for McGuire. This is good from Orlando. On his right foot, Ladero, his less favored side, and he sends it over. Brecolo over towards Halliday. Past Angulo, McGuire on it. Can he get something back for Orlando? It's blocked, play continued, advantage is played. Here is Angulo into the outside of the side netting. A team that allowed 53 goals last year. 23rd of 29 teams in MLS play. They wanted to be better defensively heading into 2024. They're going to get their first clean sheet of the year. Their second straight win at home, Atlanta United. 2-0 over their rivals, Orlando City.